This is a really nice three cup espresso maker made by a company that's been around forever. Has some that's a really nice close up of it. Another close up. That's your steam valve there. Talk about an antique. That thing looks like it's brand new and probably older than me. The espresso maker looks good, though. Another really nice picture. And a the last uh, picture, which is really nice. Let's go to customer reviews and see what they say. 4.6 out of 5 stars is very, very good. Simple to use, quick to clean, and makes great espresso. Definitely a good investment if you're on the fence about buying a more expensive espresso machine, especially if you're unsure about how much you will use it. This three cup size is good size if you're making coffee for one, or you split it fine among two people. Makes better espresso than most espresso shops here in Java Town, Seattle. It also costs about 10 times less than an espresso machine that probably won't make as good a coffee and eventually will need repair. Has been making these things since the dawn of time and have it down to a science. A few tips. Grind the coffee between medium and fine. Don't pack the coffee into the basket like you do an espresso machine. Heat between medium and high heat. Be careful not to have the handle over the burner of the flame. Never wash the pot of detergent, just rinse and dry. That's in all capital letters. The more you use the pot, the better the coffee becomes. Before using for the first time, season the pot, make a pot of weak coffee, and discard it. Up sounds like pretty good advice. Bye bye Starbucks. Hello, amazing vanilla latte. I bought this espresso maker about a week ago at the suggestion of my cousin who lives in Italy. I also bought a milk frother and some uh, Lily Espresso and vanilla flavored served from Starbucks. Now that's a great idea. I'm going to have to do that. Go down to Starbucks and buy me some vanilla flavored syrup with a pump. I've been drinking the yummiest vanilla lattes every morning. Takes a couple minutes to make and they're delicious. Why the heck was I spending so much money at Starbucks every day for all those years? By the way, my Italian cousin says never to refrigerate the espresso coffee. Just keep it on the counter. As much as I drink, it will, there won't be any left to be refrigerated. Scroll on down, look for I feel if it's all great, fabulous, wonderful, blah, blah. It's a Blanton commercial, not a real review. Haven't changed in a century. Nice old school stove talk espresso maker. It's always a bit too hot and a bit too bitter for my taste. But compared to pod machines, you could make a decent quality coffee. The problem is I burned the handles a few times. Before, as I tend to leave the mocha pot on the stove for way too long. Now there's three stars. Leak after two to three months. Now that concerns me. I noticed on the search results that a, a lot of parts showed up in the search results. But uh, they've been around forever and there's probably a lot of them out there. But that would concern me. Most all the reviews are excellent. Uh, 98 out of 124 or 5 star. 17 or 4 star, 3 3 star, 3 2 stars, and 3 1 star. Uh, 
It's got pretty good ratings. Average cast review, 4.6 stars. Save lots of money on Great Espresso. With fast shipping, you'll soon start enjoying Great Espresso. Click the link now.